Hey, what's going on? Hey, I want to talk to you about um, failure today. Um, I've been having a couple conversations, but I've also noticed a trend lately in what I'm seeing on social media and the conversations that I've been having. And whenever I see trends, I, I, I don't let them go by me without trying to learn what is trying, what am I supposed to be noticing right now? And I know that sounds far-fetched and weird and everything like that, but I came to the realization that every so often there's a certain topic, certain area of life where I just happen to notice everybody's talking about it or a, a vast majority of people are talking about it. So I go, okay, what do we, what, what's going on? And I listen to it. And um, today I just, uh, it has a lot to do with the fear of failure. Um, I, I swear I've been seeing it everywhere. And the first one was I woke up and I was having a cup of coffee. I was looking through and there was a post that said, I'm afraid to try because I'm afraid to get broken again. And I just could not help, but just like have my heart just feel, um, touched by it because I feel for that person, you know, and, and I know it's, and I know it's a, a not really a lot coming from an outsider's perspective because I really don't know what's going on in their life or what's going on in their heart right now. But, um, man, I've been there. <laughs> I've, I've been there. I've been afraid to try because I was afraid of getting laughed at. I was afraid of people not liking me. I was afraid of losing friends. I was afraid of everything, but I came to the realization that the alternative is always better. So you only have two um, outcomes. Whenever you try anything, you either have it doesn't work, so you dust yourself off and try again, or whatever, or the other alternative is that it works, and you'll be kicking yourself that you didn't try six months before. Those are the only two outcomes. It either works or it doesn't. And so the metaphor that came into my head during the time, I don't know if you know this about me, but I make knives and I've been learning a lot and, um, you know, I'm getting, I think I'm getting pretty decent. If I say so myself, give myself a pat on the pat on the back. Um, anyways, a Damascus knife can only be a Damascus knife if it's made with bits and pieces of steel that are compressed, forge welded, and shaped, and I mean, heated and beaten repeatedly to get the pattern of the Damascus steel. But most times it's, it can only be made, most times people only make those with broken pieces of steel that was used from other things. So if you think of it as like life, right? You get a piece of steel. Well, this portion is going to be something and these little pieces are going to go in the trash. Well, save you save those little pieces and you turn them into a beautiful dynamic piece of Damascus steel. And that's like a good metaphor for life, right? You got to be broken to be beautiful sometimes. So the hardships come for a reason and don't be afraid to stand back up and, and let the fire hit you and to be shaped and molded, you know, if you can't, so like they say, you can't be, a, you can't become a diamond unless you feel the, unless you get the pressure, right? Um, I talked with a friend who has an amazing heart, um, you know, and he told me, he told me straight up, he's like, look, I don't want to go through it again. And I, and, and again, I respect that. But everything we do in life, if you, you know, we, we were able to discern that maybe what he was doing before was not, um, was not where his heart was because what he's doing now is really no different than what it was before, but his heart is different, if that makes sense. So me doing, me doing these, uh, these videos, I do not, um, you know, I, I feel very uncomfortable doing them, uh, to be honest, because I never know what to talk about. I don't, I really don't know if anybody cares, but I'm going to do them anyways, because I believe in what I'm doing. I believe in what I'm doing and I believe in the, in the value I can offer with the lessons I've learned in my, uh, short span in life. I've almost died four times. 
I've seen the worst in people and I've seen the best in people. I've had, I've experienced things that a lot of people are struggling with. And I believe that, not, not that I have the answer, but I've overcome a lot of it. And so this is, so I like, I feel that by sharing and flirting with my comfort zone, I can offer a lot of value to, to somebody out there. And I don't care if it sees millions of people. I just needed that one person to see it. So anyways, um, so what I meant by, you know, his heart was different in it was that what he's doing right now, he's very much more passionate about. He's very much more into it. Um, with his heart, mind, body, and soul. And so, although he's not really doing anything differently than he was before, he he's not, again, he's not married to the results. Before he was results-driven, now he's activity-driven. And when you're activity-driven, you're, you're comfortable with, with uncertainty. Results will happen but it's showing up every day, regardless of the outcome, that will yield those results. What else, what else, what else? Um, yeah, I mean, those are the those are the two biggest ones that really come to head. Oh, and, and um, I saw another post, you know, talking about what's, what's better. Um, and I think I've brushed on this before and I got a lot of weird stares, but um, what's more important, planning or action? And I think that has to do with, um, uh, with the fear of failure because a lot of people will use their fear of failure but disguise it with planning. And I like the response that was given uh, by Gary Vaynerchuk, who's super awesome. Um, anyways, in, in according to him, it just depends on who the kind of person that you are. Me, personally... Um, I, I feel comfortable doing both. However, I feel that the best lesson is, is just by doing it. I feel that that's the best way to plan is, you know, Hey, I'm going to go to the top of this mountain. I have a general idea of my route <laughs> and, and I might have to, and I've done it before and I'll have to break through some brush, thick brush and trees and climb rocks and whatever. When all I had to do was take, you know, there was, there was some stairs over here and, uh, I get to the top and I see that there were stairs and I go, well, damn, <laughs> could, could, could have been a little easier, uh, but I know next time, but I know next time. And so the next mountain I have to overcome, I'll look for the easy route. So, um, that's just how I am. I'm hard headed like that, but I'm not afraid, but I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid to take those steps. I'm not afraid to take that action. And, and you know, and that's just me. You, I'm not saying that you're afraid, but I'm just saying you might need to take a couple minutes to really evaluate every, every little thing, but do not use it as an excuse. Do not use it as an excuse to take, um, no action. So that's about it. I, I, I hope that you found some value in that. Um, you know, whatever it is you're going through today, you know, it'll pass. I promise it'll pass. I promise. Um, we all go through high points and low points, but you got to show up every day, regardless of what you feel. All right. Take it from me. Show up even when you're low. All right. Hope you have a good day. Bye.